Hi, my name is Elaine Parsley and I'm with Colerain RV and today we're talking about opening up a pop-up camper. Here we have a 2010 Jayco 1007 pop-up camper. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to get your top up. In order to do that, your first steps are going to be to unlatch your locks. There's going to be four locks, one on each corner, two on this side, two on the other side. Make sure that all four are unlatched. You flip it down and put it down. Make sure all four sides are done. After that is done, the next thing that you're going to need to get is your crank handle. Your crank handles are generally found just inside the door here. So you'll take your crank handle and go to your manual crank lever area. You insert your handle, and once you're absolutely sure that all four of your locks are down, you may start to crank. There will be directions there showing which way to crank in order to get it up or down. When the top goes up, the other thing that you need to do is make sure that all four stabilizer jacks are put down. These are manual stabilizer jacks and can be put down with this tool here. This tool is also found inside the door where your crank lever is. Put it on and crank them down. You do not want to lift your camper, you just want to stabilize it. So crank down until it feels tight. As you're putting your top up, it is important not to over crank. When you crank, you want to make sure that you have a little tension here, but that it's not extremely tight. If it's too tight, you could break your cable. Your next step is to put your tent ends out. You're going to find your support bars underneath of the mattresses in the areas that you're going to be pulling out. The front, this bottle, the front bed has four support bars, two like this and two straight bars. When you have bars like this, you must insert these prior to pulling the bed out. Once these are in place, you will take your end and pull it out. Once your end is completely out, you will take your other two bars and put those into place. The bent end typically goes underneath up here to support the angle and the bed. When you go under, you can insert your bar into the proper position And then you lift with your back and insert the pole. Now your bed is completely supported. Now you're going to pull your canvas ends over the edge. Once your canvas ends are pulled over the edge, there's a Velcro, Velcro strip here. This is the new way that Jayco uh, keeps the tent ends up against the camper. You'll just go ahead and apply your Velcro stripping. It is on all three sides. When you get your camper tent end set up, next is you're going to be preparing the inside of your camper. When you come in, because the top's been down, most of your cushions and that are going to be flat on the ground or on the tables. We're going to start over here. This particular unit has a booth dinette on this end. You'll take your cushions and set your cushions into place. As you can see, the table is in the down position. You'll want to take your table now and lift it up. This particular table has a Velcro bottom with tip-out legs. Makes it really easy to put up. Make sure your legs are tight before you put it down on the ground. Next, we have a U-shaped dinette. We'll set that up. You're going to flip this over and it's now in position. This right here is a three-way refrigerator. They had it propped open to avoid mold and mildew from growing. You can go ahead and close that. Then it's just a matter of positioning your cushions. There we go. 
Next, you're going to be putting your tent ends up. The first thing that you're going to do is to need to get this pole. Generally, it's found underneath and stored underneath of your mattress. The end has a clip like this. You take this, you find your end bar, and snap it between the two screws. You'll push this out and get it into position. Sometimes this gets a little bit tight, so what I like to do is to release the pole so it's easily forced in and out and connect it into this area here. You push your button in and put your pole into place. Now we just need to set it so you'll pull and now it's perfectly secure and your tent ends are up. Next you're going to need to place your door. The door is stored on the ceiling is held by a couple different snaps. What you're going to need to do first is to release this here so that the door can be pulled up and to release these snaps. Hold the door as you're releasing the snaps. You will lift it up off of the shelf up there and swing it down into place. You'll notice that the door is supported by these wires here. That's a great way to help to keep the door in place and to put it down a little bit more easily, especially if you're doing it by yourself. Now the door adjusts in. This particular door goes just to the outside. This is normally done more easily if two people are doing this, so my assistant Kristen is outside helping. <laughs> the door fits in nicely. Now you will take your little plastic holders here, put them into place. And the top, this particular door, has the bars that pull down to secure it. Once your door is in place, your next step is going to be to attach your canvas. This is done on this Jayco model with Velcro. So you'll take it from the top and connect it. This side's already been connected, but it is on both sides. You also are going to want to make sure that your lift bars are covered. This is also done with Velcro, all four bars will be done this way. This is how we put up our pop-up campers. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at Coleraine RV at 513-923-3600. Thanks for visiting with us and hope to see you soon.